So my name is Jennifer Runyon, and I'm an assistant special agent in charge at the FBI Detroit Field Office. So the FBI stands for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. It's actually the primary federal law enforcement agency in the United States. And we have over 35,000 employees, both agents and non-agents, spread across 56 field offices all over the United States. And we're actually located in over 180 countries overseas. So some of the traditional jobs that we have are obviously special agents. That's what everyone sees on TV. You also see a lot of intelligence analysts, people who help piece together the, the pieces of information. And in uh, 24, in those FBI shows, there's always someone who's like telling the agent where to go next. Sometimes their intelligence analysts help in that role. Some of the jobs people aren't as familiar with that we have, we have pilots. We have auto mechanics. We have electronic technicians. We have engineers. I have biologists down at our lab who analyze all the blood samples and fingerprints. We have photographers and multimedia specialists who help in our media teams to make sure that the FBI does its branding properly. We have recruiters. We have former military people. And of course, we have lawyers and accountants and prior law enforcement. We also have FBI police who aren't investigating crimes, but they help keep our buildings safe. Any job that you can think of, we have. So we're looking for people who are talented and smart and, and want to, just passionate about helping people and helping protect people. You can be an agent or a non-agent. We actually have over 20,000 people in this organization who aren't agents, who want to use their art skills, their science skills, their engineering skills. Um, any passion that someone has, we have a role for you in the FBI. So if you'd like to be in the FBI, you first have to be a U.S. citizen. You also have to have no felony convictions. So you really need to make sure that you are associating with good people and not getting involved in criminal activity. And then we do have a pretty strict drug policy. You actually can't have smoked marijuana or had any cannabis for a year. And you can't have done any illegal drugs for 10 years at minimum. So of those three things, students can make sure that they're doing from that point on, I would say they need to find what makes them passionate because you need to have some experience uh, to be, if you want to be a special agent, the age minimum is 23. So you have a little bit of time from high school to college um, to come into the FBI as a special agent. So they want you to have some work experience of something that you're good at, something that you're passionate about. It can be anything. It can be a teacher. It can be um, an art major. It could be a scientist, it could be a biologist, it could be a photographer. You can bring that to the FBI because we need those skills and special agents. But you also have to be able to pass a physical fitness test. And that physical fitness test has four elements. It has sit-ups, 300 meter sprint, push-ups, and a mile and a half. There's a scoring protocol with that and all of that, all the details of the scoring and how we do that is on fbijobs.gov. You can go under that and anyone who's interested in the special agent position can see exactly what they need to pass and win. So there'll be some interviews, there's a test, a, a entry level test they have to take, they have to do some meet and greets, pass the physical fitness, pass the polygraph, pass the medical, and then they could be ready to go to Quantico. And then from there, you have five months at Quantico of training that you still have to get through, which includes legal training, shooting, defensive tactics, um, interview and interrogation classes. And once you get through that, then you, they hand you your badge and gun and you are officially a special agent. Now for the non-agent side, there is not physical fitness requirements. We're much more looking for skills and um, either entry level job skills or specialized skills for data analysts, electronic technicians, financial managers, people who have done this in previous jobs and are bringing those skills here. The FBI is an amazing place to work. One, you get to have a career path that is as diverse as you want it to be, that you can go anywhere in the world and work in investigation or anywhere in the United States. You could change your field office. If you get tired of being in one place, you can go to different places. You can do different jobs as inside the FBI as an agent or a non-agent. So any skill set that you have, we have a place for you that lets you have that sense of mission, have that sense of connectedness to something bigger than yourself, and to use your passion and skills 
to actually further good in the world. And I think innately in that, why I like the FBI as well, is it does hold us accountable to living good lives. Protecting and helping people is the best thing you can do with your life. Thinking of something bigger than ourselves uh, gives us a sense of meaning and purpose. And I think any kid, any person needs that. And so I am, every person I meet, I'll even, you wanna come work for the FBI? Come on, I'll, I'll tell you today. Like, we're ready to have anyone who really has that sense of uh, calling and mission and wants to live a life that aligns with our values. Um, we want you here. And I think it's a great job that gives you amazing benefits, amazing stable career, and you get to help change the world in the process. Rain Risa. Department of Workforce Development, Career Tech Education, Adult Education, and Career Counseling. Educate. Equip. Elevate.